I'm Nancy Lee and I've been living here in this house for 60 years. I, I will be 92 years of age on the 6th of December. I can still do everything for myself. Mondays I go to craft, um, Wednesdays I go to cards, this is weekly. Well, I go to senior sits as I put down, well, I go to senior sits, that's the fourth Tuesday. Uh, I help with Meals on Wheels once a month. I help at the Red Cross shop, that's uh, three times least a month. I help file the Oasis of a Thursday once a month. Senior sits is every fourth Tuesday. Red Cross meetings every second Monday. RSL Ladies Auxiliaries usually the third Monday and Pavis is the second Wednesday morning. Mm. I go to cards every Wednesday. Oh, we have a knit in at the library every fortnight, isn't it? Every mm. second. And I, I'm always crocheting it because I sit out here. <laughs> oh, and also I do crosswords. I love my garden and I love crocheting, knitting and uh, crosswords and all those things that keeps me occupied and I also do volunteer work and belong to quite a few organisations. I lived on a farm till I was 24. I went to high school in Wagga for 12 months mm -hmm. when I was third because a boy had to have education, not a girl. I worked on the farm just like anybody mm -hmm. else. I carried the kerosene tins of milk from the dairy up. We used to milk and separate. I've pitched hay, I've stooped hay, I've helped cut chaff. And on my birthday, I was always allowed to ride on the header. <laughs> but it's never, it's never hurt me, you know. We had as much fresh milk yep. and cream and butter and eggs and everything as anybody. And, they, and look, if there was nothing else for tea at night, you had bread and milk. But I, I have had a lot of sick. I've had shingles, I've had whooping cough, you know, and I've had measles and mumps. And My husband was in the army yeah. and I stayed home for a while. I wasn't sick, but mainly. And then when he came, we, we lived in Colquhoun. It would have been 67 years last July since we were married. Now, I've never had a licence, and I'll tell you another thing, I've never smoked in my life, and I don't drink. But I have no objection to what people... If you understand, I have no objection to what people do. I've got 12 great grandchildren, and I love them all. You know, they keep you alive. And, like, things at times you think, oh, gee. But then again, no, I'm fortunate. I am. But this, at this age, I'm fortunate that I can do what I do. Mm. This is my thing, you know, because it's no good. And I told my doctor, I only go about every three months for checkups. And he said, I said to him one day, I said, oh, Dr. Reddy, I said, oh, I said, I love, I love life. I don't want to die yet. He said, yeah, I think you'll be here for another five years. And one thing my mother always, my always told, you don't say, I can't, you'll say, I'll try. You never say, I can't, I'll try.